Thank you so much, Al, for taking the time today. I appreciate oh, it. I'm so excited about this coming out tomorrow. Oh my God. I, so I want to jump right in. How fun was it to be able to like include so many characters? In well, this? we're just uh, talking, uh, you know, that we have like Thanos and Darth Vader. <laughs> I, I never would have dreamed as a kid who grew up reading Marvel and then watching Star Wars, you know, like that they're all in one place is insane. And uh, <clears throat> of course, you know, the big reason we did it was because we could get Kelsey in one of these shorts to, you know, play Sideshow Bob, who now is a Disney villain. So that's great. It's crazy. Is that crazy? Would you ever have thought you would be able to call Sideshow Bob a Disney villain? No, I mean, but there's a million things with The Simpsons where I would never have thought they would have. But yeah, when we were writing Disney jokes in 1990, like I, <laughs> now you can stream them on Disney Plus, you know, at the drop of a hat. And I do. Yeah, it's crazy. It's so cool. I, I love that. I spotted Agatha in there as well, which is super yeah. fun. Since and you're in Agatha, Agatha too. We're in the Agatha credits. So yeah, yeah, I'm really happy about that. There's so much fun. So where did this idea come from to get all these villains together? Well, what it was, was I thought, oh, we'll do a short with Kelsey. And I didn't want to do anything near Christmas because we have a different double episode coming out then. So Halloween was the target. And then I thought, oh, the most, most wonderful time of the year would be the great song to have him sing. And it would really be like ironic. And and then once we had that, it was actually a really fast day with the other writers to just go through it. And, you know, and then, of course, with David making a list of all the Disney villains we could stick in. And, and you know, he always does a fantastic job directing. Yeah, how many of them are there? I tried counting, well, but I I'll feel like, <laughs> yeah. is that, yeah, I mean, it probably is, right? Yeah, it is, should be about that. I started counting and I was like, I lost track. I, yeah. I was like pausing, I'm like, nope, <laughs> I have no idea. It's amazing. Is there one you were most excited to be able to put in there? Like I say, that it's Darth Vader, then Thanos, and then we have, you know, Thanos come back with the Brothers Grimm. I thought that was just a good thing to be able to do. It was, Brothers Grimm would be the biggest villains for this. The of entire. course. <laughs> <laughs> it was so fun and i love you get the snap in there i mean you yeah. had to right like yeah. i was gonna yeah, say no i mean I, I again you know when uh, the movie came out we weren't in disney yet i don't think and the fact that we're all in one place is really i'm mean, we're very lucky and very happy to be on disney plus it's a you know in the streaming wars it's a great place to be yeah absolutely and there's so many episodes it has gone for so long so what do you think it is about the simpsons that has let it kind of resonate with multiple generations and just still be such a relevant uh, topic of conversation. I'll say everyone here works so hard. Uh, th there was a read today of a script. You know, I didn't work on this one and I thought it was hilarious by Christine Nangle. You know, every script, every episode, whether I work on them a lot or not, I just am blown away. The directors, everybody that works on the show just really cares about it. And that that's my main reason. Yeah, I mean, it just keeps... I, and it doesn't, I wouldn't say getting better, but it remains amazing consistently. Do you know that's, what I mean? That's my view. It's it's always been really good. I can't be objective, but <laughs> you know, I, we were told it was going downhill in uh, season one, episode six. So oh I, gosh! <laughs> yeah, I can't I can't be clear on it, but it's obviously got some quality, a, a great deal of it, to have lasted so long. Yeah, I mean, is there anything you've ever wanted to do that you feel like you haven't been able to do with The Simpsons yet? I feel like you've done it all. Um, we've done a lot, but you know, what's interesting is when you think of a new idea, like I had an idea about Willie posing on OnlyFans, <laughs> you know, I think, oh, you could do that on the Simpsons and OnlyFans and the internet didn't exist when we started. So I don't know if that'll come to fruition, but I'm working on that as a script. So yeah, it's, it's amazing. Well, speaking of things not existing yet, the Simpsons kind of like tells the future so often. And Ironically, not, not, yeah. <laughs> Let's hope that there's more good things we're predicting in the future. <laughs> this happens. But this happens all the time. Every time something happens, people yeah. are like, yeah, this is on The Simpsons like five years ago. How, how like, does any of these, like, you forget about them until people post and you're like, yeah. oh my gosh, yeah. Well, I forget. Sometimes people fudge it, which we don't like, where they try to, you know, make it look like we said something that we didn't. But there's ones where I go, geez, that was so, there was one about, you know, a flu epidemic hitting Springfield and then there were murder hornets and I go, this is just weird. I mean, that was like 1992 we were writing that. Does that ever blow your mind with that? You it know? all blows my mind. Every, everything about it is, uh, you know, 35 years, all the stuff we've been able to do, the guest stars we've hit, you know, it all is amazing. Yeah. I mean, yeah, guest stars. Speaking of like, so first of all, you have an amazing court cast, of course. Yes. But then guest stars, like, is there ever anyone that you really wanted that you just weren't able to nail down? 
Well, we've never gotten a president on the show, and I've kind of given up on that. But like, we, you know, I, I wrote an episode that's coming out a little bit that's got a little cameo by Glenn Close, who's Homer's mother. And I'm like, we get Glenn Close every time we want to be Homer's mother. Amazing. You know, I, I, and she's so nice about, it, you know, and happy to do. I, I It's just, again, I never get over it. It's it's incredible. I mean, I hate to, I'm sure it's impossible, but can you pick maybe a favorite moment or favorite episode? I'm, I know there's so many. Um, I, I can't, I, I have a soft spot for the Simpsons movie, yeah. uh, which I worked a lot on at the same time we were doing the show so that I was really happy it came out pretty well, in my opinion, you know, I mean, it was so much pressure and it was so, you know, much intense work for four years. So I guess that's like emotionally the one I'm closest to. I love it. And then there's Simpsons land at like Universal, yeah. there's Simpsons ride. Like, is that crazy for you? <laughs> Totally crazy. I never thought that would happen. And and it's a, you know, a really good ride. And, you know, that there's Simpsons land. I, it's all funny because these were things Matt Groening parodied at the beginning, you know, it was all yeah. just making fun of this stuff and now it exists. And and I would say Bart is as recognizable a character as any, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and you get, you can get the big giant donuts. <laughs> yes, I know. It all comes to life. It's real. Well, when I went into the actual Moe's, you know, that they had, that was surreal. Yeah. I mean, and I was here in 1989 when we started working on these scripts. So it's really, really bizarre when I think about it. Yeah. What was it like the first time you visited like a Simpsons land at Universal? It's just to see it realized in physicality is nuts, you know, and that like there's a phone in the Moe's where Bart is prank call, <laughs> you know, and, and you know, you, you kind of go, gee, I'd love to just live in this world <laughs> you know, rather than the real world. I know. I mean, do you think. Uh, I mean, like I said, this is what, it's 35, 36, 36 seasons coming up, yeah. right? This is that's, the 36th season we're doing now. That's crazy. Do you feel like you have, like, the capacity to just keep going? This world can just keep existing? Yes, I think it uh, definitely The Simpsons does. I think that, um, you know, people just come in and, and love it and are great. And then we get new people. We have people that have worked on it for a long time. And everybody thinks it's the greatest thing they ever did, the greatest job in the world. Yeah, I love it. Well, final question. I got to ask you, we know that we have uh, four exclusive episodes coming up. Is there anything you can tease about those? Well, the Christmas double episode is going to uh, stream the same day, the anniversary of the first episode, 35 years later, December 17th, uh, 2024. So um, it's a great episode. And I'm really, it's again, one of these amazing things to, you know, be doing new episodes 35 years later. That's crazy. Well, thank you so much for your time. And I love The Simpsons and I can't wait for more and more and more. <laughs>